my diagnosis is leukemia, ALL, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. It's one of the fastest growing leukemia. It could go into your organs, bones, and it could take your life in pretty much three to four months. It was very terrifying. I was thinking of my kids, my family, and that this illness, cancer, that's the only thing I heard, would lead to one road, which was death. It was just too much to grasp in a short amount of time. From being a healthy guy, and now they're telling me about cancer, is just something that's undescribable to me. It changed it 100%. Not only from my job that I'm, I drive semis, I used to be all over California from one place to another. I couldn't do that no more. I couldn't go outside and play with my kids. So everything that I did, I was not able to do. And the way I put it down is when I see a bird that could fly, it could fly anywhere. I felt that bird that got caught and was put in a cage and couldn't go anywhere. When I was diagnosed, the treatment started immediately. They already had a plan for me, which was a three-year plan. And the first year was a very, very intensive where I practically live in the hospital with a variety of different chemos. I finished that year of intensive uh, chemotherapies. I went to what you call maintenance. I did two years of maintenance where it's not as aggressive as the first year, but you have to be monitored quite often. And after those two years of treatment, I was happy to say my cancer went into remission. It wouldn't last as long because after six months, it came back and it came back really strong. I got admitted immediately on that same day. They already started a new round of chemotherapies with the strongest chemotherapies. The bone marrow biopsy showed that 82% of the, the leukemia was still left. What that meant that the chemotherapies wasn't doing anything to the leukemia anymore. I found out about the trial once and the chemotherapy just wasn't doing anything. So my doctor basically told me this is my last chance. She only gave me a 15% chance to survive. So blenitubumab was my only option left. I remember when they said clinical trial, I thought there was a thousand people already in the clinical trial. When my physician told me I was, I, I believe the 104th person. And I heard that blenitubumab, you, you only had to be admitted for like 15 days. That made me happy because all the other treatments that I took, you have to be admitted for 30, 40 days. So I was like, I get to spend more time with the family at home. I was admitted for the 14 days of lenitumab. After they noticed that I didn't have no side effects, I was able to go home. But I had to carry that pouch with me that would run the medicine 24-7. I finished that 30-day trial and uh, I had to go back for my bone marrow results to see if blenitubumab had work. That day came, I was really anxious. I mean, it was a week that I couldn't sleep. I couldn't do anything because it was my last chance to survive. And I remember the day that I, all oh, the follow-up of the results that I was gonna get. As soon as uh, they called me into the doctor's office, I noticed the doctor walked in with a big smile. He tells me immediately, you know what? The results shows that you have zero leukemia on your first trial. So what all those chemotherapies couldn't do, blenitubumab did it in 30 days. My spirit was just lifted up. I was jumping up and down that day. It's more hope for a person fighting for their life. I have learned a lot. My life changed 100%. I learned how to live life, love life. I see life differently and I couldn't be no more thankful. I'm more religious and more close to my family. I couldn't be happier now than ever.